Diary, aka you. <laughs> um, I lost a little momentum last month. I've been posting one video every month and that has been my goal, but I missed the month of May because I didn't really create anything. I ran out of time, uh, work got crazy, and I was just really tired that whole month. So, uh, this month I've been thinking a little bit about what to do when I do lose momentum and one thing that I've noticed that helps me is presenting work that I've made. When you allow strangers to see it and enjoy it, uh, it just, it, it brings your art to life. It's different from posting it on Instagram. <laughs> when you see a real person walk up to your art and stand in front of it and look at it and read what you have on your artist panel label, <laughs> um, what an incredible motivator that is. Uh, and when they know that you're the artist, and they talk to you about your art, why you make it, how you made it. Um, what an incredible motivator. Uh, so highly recommend. One of the biggest times that I presented my art, these window paintings, was in my BFA graduation show in college last December. And uh, one of my favorite photos from that was just a picture of strangers wandering around my little corner and uh, and gazing up at my work. Um, it's really incredible and it makes me want to create more so that I can fit even more work into a space and let people see it. My professors would definitely have some opinions about me hanging my work in such a busy distracting location, but this is exactly how I imagined them when I was making them. They were not meant to stand alone in a white gallery. I wanted them to be outside in nature. So I'm really happy that I did present my work like this, even if only one lady saw it. Well, of course it takes time. Everything takes time. Time is the one thing that we have or don't have. Um, but gaining momentum. My painting professor told me right before graduation, don't be too hard on yourself when you don't paint anything for a while after graduating, even if it's for a few months. And at first I was like, nah, no way, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint all the time. Uh, I have found my inspiration. <laughs> and I made five brand new paintings the last week of college before my BFA show, and I was feverishly trying to make more than I ever had in all my time in college. And I think I felt that time 
that was dedicated to making art coming to an end, and I was desperately trying to maintain the momentum. After graduating, I started two new paintings immediately. Uh, those were the first two paintings from my January vlog, and I am now just varnishing one of them, and still haven't even started painting the second one. It's in the background here behind the easel. I lost the energy and momentum, and then I got busy with work and other life things, and I was also really discouraged and distracted by the messiness of my studio. <laughs> um, I plan on addressing that in my May vlog, which I am making, but it turned into an organizing video, so I'm still filming that. So basically, Take the time you need to gain back your momentum. Don't avoid being creative because you know you've lost the momentum and you're afraid that you'll fail. Be brave and choose something simple to do. Maybe don't dive headfirst into a giant purely original painting that you take all your own references for, and you create a complicated composition with lots of meaning, and you know, the whole, the whole shebang. Um, maybe do a few small studies of photos, or whatever it may be that inspires you, and listen to some inspiring music, or an excellent book, and maybe an artist on YouTube who's going on the journey just like you. what things will never be perfect. Well, nothing's perfect, obviously, um, but I mean, circumstances, your situation, your time, you will never have the perfect amount of time to do anything. You'll never have the perfect space to do what you want. I love my space, but it's still not, it's not perfect. <laughs> um, what else will never be perfect? Your art, right? your skills. So whatever you're doing, whatever that dream is of yours, that goal, whether it's to make a YouTube channel, I, I, want, I love making videos. I've always loved making videos. I made videos when I was in middle school, the, the dumbest videos, but I loved the whole process of editing and putting together a story out of clips that we took, you know, stupid movies with my friends. Um, make your YouTube channel. I started in January and, you know, I have created some videos that I really am pretty proud of. <laughs> you know, um, start a painting. So you've never painted before or you haven't painted in years. Try it out. You can't get better if you don't try. Uh, a business. Start your business. I have had people ask me how I started my cake decorating business, and I don't know. I don't know how it started. One day my lunch lady at school asked me to make a baby shower cake for her daughter, and then someone else asked me to make another one, and then there was another one, and all of a sudden I was going to college for culinary arts and business management, and I had to figure out how to price things and make a website on my own, which nobody taught me, and communicate with customers, and now I have to turn customers down because I don't have time for them all. So just start. You never know what it'll turn into. So your art, your art will never be perfect. Wanting to grow 
is a natural part of being an artist. That's the whole thing, <laughs> is growing as an artist. If you're not growing, it, if you wait until your art is what you want it to be, is at that perfect level that you assume you'll get to someday, you'll never share it because as an artist, you're never going to be satisfied with where you are. You're always going to want to grow. If you stop wanting to grow, um, I don't know, your, your art brain needs to be revived. <laughs> um, so make the art. Document the process if you want. Let other people see it. Present your art. Don't be afraid of a little constructive critique or even, dare I say it, some uh, criticism. It is how we grow as artists and as people. When other people see our art, they see it in a different light and we can take that and apply it to what we're creating to create a more successful piece. One of the most valuable parts of my time in college for me was that critique time. I improved exponentially in my skills and in my artistic vision when I started uh, going to art school and talking to other artists and getting new ideas. Um, that's a big topic, but talk to other artists. Find somebody who you can talk to about whatever you're creating. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find your momentum. Please don't forget to unlike this video, unsubscribe, and don't hesitate to leave me a deconstructive criticism. I would really like to know actually if you guys prefer voiceovers or just music and I don't know if you have any topics you care about me talking about. <laughs> Alright, thanks. See you next time, maybe? Bye.